Hey guys, welcome back to another reaction, and today I'm here to Certain Magical Index Episode 2, and I know I should have uh, done this yesterday, um, I actually would have too, but um, Demon Slayer, like they had a Season 2, uh, like preview trailer, and basically I guess you can see it was like perfect timing, because I really didn't like... I really didn't feel like making an episode reaction yesterday. I just wanted to kind of uh, chill yesterday. So, yeah, I did the Demon Slayer, and then I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm just done for today, and now I'm going to just do the episode tomorrow. So, yeah, but, um, yeah, here I am with episode two. But um, last episode, you guys were saying, like, in the comments, like, how that was supposed to happen um, in season one. Like, I don't know, before the, um, what was it, Kazakiri arc or whatever. And they, y'all said that they basically just, uh, fit in the, uh, or basically tried to squeeze in that Kazakiri arc. So basically they could show her off or whatever before, um, I guess they show her again in this season or something. Uh, well, that's what I'm thinking before they show her in this season. But, um,. Yeah, I didn't know that episode was basically supposed to be in season one, but they just basically switched it around. But yeah, besides all that, though, I hope you guys will enjoy this. Make sure you like and subscribe, and yeah, let's get this reaction started. Okay, so style Magnus. Okay, I think I think this is who I saw in like the last episode of um season one. It style Magnus was talking to someone. I don't think it was her though, but yeah, he was he was talking to someone though. Suchi Mikado. I gotta remember that. <laughs> I gotta remember that right there. That's that one guy that I was trying to, um, or that's what I was trying to figure out the name of. Um, Suchi Mikado. Okay, the one guy with, like, the glasses and, like, the, um, blonde hair. Oh, wait, they're, oh, they're talking, okay, telepathically or whatever. Cause I'm sitting there thinking like, is he like ba or like basically um how they're talking? Was he like um talking like basically from the like uh, note that she gave him or whatever? Or were they like actually like literally telepathically talking? So yeah, it, I thought like basically like um they were telling us what she said on the note, and then after that um basically. Alright, let me see. The Book of the Law. But yeah, basically, um, they were telling us, like, what she said on the note. I didn't think, um, <laughs> they were actually talking telepathically because he was talking out loud. And I'm like, wait a second. Like, he said, uh, don't tell me that's for real or something. And I was like, yeah, they're, they're talking, uh, telepathically. Okay, so what does Sal Magnus want with Index now? <laughs> Yo, he looks so big <laughs> while he was behind her too. I'm like, yo, <laughs> hold up. <laughs> what is he about to do? But um, I like how that other maid just started, uh, kept on uh, just spinning on the robot as I was happening. Yo, hold up. I never, I never realized how tall this dude was. Hold up. He looks like six, like six, five or something, my guy. Hold up. I never realized that. Okay. But yeah, the book of the law was like stolen or something. Okay. And I, yeah, I think this is the girl that he was talking to um, on the last episode of uh, season one. Cause yeah, they were they were talking about something. Uh, I don't remember, but now nah, I think it definitely was her though. Something is not 
<laughs> I knew she was gonna go straight back on the bus. Yo. <laughs> yeah, and she about to annoy the bus driver too. Okay. So hold up. So are they not in Academy City right now? I cause um there is um one wait hold on let me pause this real quick. There was one episode, um basically they were talking about how they had some like high security or something, like um unauthorized people or something can't like enter in and leave Academy City, so can anyone just enter in, I guess? And then, basically, if you um don't look like a threat or anything like that to anybody, then you're fine. Or if you don't have anything, like, illegal or something on you, you're fine, I guess. I thought it was, like, whoever was born in Academy City um, basically stays in there. And they can, like, leave under, like, special permission or, so or special uh, privilege or something. But, um... Yeah, I guess you could just enter and leave. Um, as long as you're, like, good, though. Huh? Hold up. What, what did you just say your name was? Hold up. Yo, she said a whole nother, like, yo, wait, what? But, um, someone's chasing, like, that other nun with, um, Toma, though. Hold up. Is that a beach ball talking? Uh, hold up. Is someone having a dream? Because, uh, I don't know about that. Hold up, bro. But this dude Toma really asked for a reward, though. <laughs> Yo. I mean, well, she could have, like, took me out to eat or something. Like, at least, you know, give me something, my guy. A drink. Like, yeah, g give me that snow cone style. Like, yo, like, making me go all the way over here. How are you even able to run in those things? Okay, yeah, I was about to say, like, <laughs> how are you even able to um run with those high heels on? And I, I knew something was going to happen when he fell down and tried to, um... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> when he fell down and tried to um help her, I knew something was gonna happen. Like, I don't know, her um <laughs> skirt was gonna come up or something, or he was just gonna be on top of her. I already knew something was gonna happen. May I borrow your gadget with the map? <laughs> it's called a cell phone index. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yo, <laughs> a gadget with a map. Okay. But, yo, all these, like, nuns and stuff, yo. Okay. And all their tents and stuff. But, yeah, like I was saying before, like, how is she able to run in those, like, yo, those, like, extremely high heels she had on? Like, yo. Are you for real? <laughs> she got scared because of a slug? Yeah, this is gonna look real bad when they walk in. Yep, I that that's just gonna look so bad. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Yo, <laughs> I knew they were gonna see him with both of them, and then yeah, <laughs> I already knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Yeah, and then all the nuns were just gonna see him, um, with just two naked girls, just, and then both of them just crying or whatever. Oh, hold up. <laughs> what were they doing up in those sheets? <laughs> Yo. Yeah, Toma. <laughs> all these, uh, misunderstandings. <sighs> yeah, they... Yo. You better hope Index doesn't wake up, guys. Um, yeah, that would be bad. Okay, so that's it then, I guess, for this episode. Unless I got something here. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me see this real quick. Okay, so I saw, I saw that as I was looking through the, um, or going past the ending. 
I see Uiharu right there. I don't I don't see Sutton though, but I do see um who is it? Last Order, obviously um Accelerator. So yeah, I think Uiharu and Sutton are going to make an appearance in the anime somewhere just basically they're probably not going to have any significance. They're just probably going to be like just showing up just like um how Toma and Index did and Railgun, they just showed up. There wasn't anything like, well, too significant. But then at the same time, Toma, they kind of stopped like that one bomb, like that one time, like when Misaka um, wouldn't be able to do anything, but like Stone, Tom, Stone, Toma uh, stopped like that bomb from like, the, what was it, the bear or whatever? Like when that one guy with like the bombs, um, like episode eight or something, or. Yeah, I think it was, like, episode 8 or, like, 9 or something. Like, um, that one guy with the bombs, like, he um, basically put it inside of, like, stuffed animals. And it was, like, small explosions at first. And then um, it was bigger explosions. That one right there, or that, like, part right there. And Railgun, like, um, kind of has some significance there. But um, still, I think Uihara and Sutton is going to probably be the same thing. Unless they actually do um like at least have something to do with them or they at least have something to do with the story at least um i wouldn't even mind at all either if they did but um that seems about it though um but it seems like um how can i say it index i feel like i haven't realized this but it's kind of like it's mostly or not mostly it's like a lot about churches and um i don't know nuns and stuff you know uh crosses and all of that books basically index is like um mainly about well as the story is going on right now like i don't know what was it <laughs> roman orthodox church church or that i heard so many i don't know <laughs> i don't even know um who those nuns are from right now like these nuns with like the tents or whatever i don't even know where they're from but like i heard like roman orthodox something of the crosses like yo i just heard a bunch about that so basically right now it's just like a bunch about i don't know how can i say it like um religion and all of that right um like put into the story so like i guess those knights or whatever I saw, well, I'm not even gonna say they're knights, but, like, I guess, because there's six people at, like, the, like, end of the episode, like, literally at the end, like, right before the ending, uh, plays, it's, like, well, no, not six, but seven people, there's, like, one guy with some weird-looking sword, and you got the other six that come out of nowhere, so I'm guessing they were a part of that, um, or, like, those people who, um, who was it, Kanzaki, like, kind of, um, beat up in the last episode, like, at the, um, end there, I'm guessing the, they are a part of that, because I saw his sword, that's the only reason I'm going off of that, um, but, yeah, like I said, bro, like, I'm just seeing a bunch of nuns, like, churches, books, and all that, um, and they kind of did the same thing, like, last season, too, like, showing all the books and all that, and, um, all these people are part of all these, like, different, how can I say it, like, clans or whatever, so, yeah, and then, was it, Queen, who was it, Elizabeth, that Magma said, or Magma, Magnus said, right, but, um, yeah, that's about it, though, for this episode, um, I'm gonna just try and remember all of that that just happened and going to the next episode uh, tomorrow but yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this though make sure to like and subscribe and y'all yeah, see you guys in the next one bye